Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on bold reports. I will show you how to enhance the visual appearance of the tablet's data region by applying alternate row color based on group in bold report designer. Let's get started. First, I'll create a new report in the report server and name it alternate row colors grouping. You can follow the same steps to create a report in the standalone report designer. Next, I need to create a data set to use data values in the report. I create a data source using the AdventuresWorks database in the SQL server and name it AdventureWorks. As I have the database details in the form of a connection string, I use advanced options to use my connection string. Next, I choose the authentication type as none since the connection string already has the credentials. This connects to the data source and opens the query designer. I name it production dataset. I move to code mode because I already have the SQL query. I enter the query and click run to see the values retrieved from the database and displayed in the preview area. Then, click finish to create a data set. Before adding the table, let me add a header. First, I enable the header area. Add a rectangle that acts as a container for the text. And resize it. Next, change the background color to enhance the look and feel. To add the header text, I add a text box inside the rectangle and add the label sales by product. Next, format the text by changing the font. Color. Size weight, and vertical alignment. If you see extra space around the text, you can resize the text box and rectangle to adjust the spacing between the text. Now, the header has been added. Next, I need to add a table to display product sales details. I add a table, remove the unnecessary columns, and add order quarter and sales as headers. Next, I assign its corresponding values to the data row. Then, add grouping to the table so that the values will be grouped based on the selected field. I choose the table cell and expand details in the row group section. Add a parent group. Select the product category in the group by field and save it. See, the parent group is added. Then, I do the same for the subcategory and assign necessary values to the table. Since the currency value must be displayed in the currency format, I select the sales value cell and change the format to currency with two decimal points. Once the values are assigned to the table, I need to apply some basic formatting to enhance its look and feel. I select the header row and change the font family, weight, text alignment, vertical alignment, and background color and color. In the same way, I format the value rows font family, text alignment, and vertical alignment. Select the other data cells and apply a background color to improve the report presentation. Finally, I will show you how to enhance the visual appearance of the tablet's data region by applying colors to alternate rows based on group while previewing. To apply colors, I choose the first row group cell and open the properties panel. Next, open the expression dialog in the background color property. Add the expression to set the color of alternate rows and save the expression. I choose the subcategory value field, 
Open the expression dialog in the background color property. Add the expression and save the expression. Then, change the background color for the order quarter and sales row group cells. And we're done. Now, everything is ready to preview the report. Switch to preview from the top panel. You can see colors on alternate rows based on group. In this video, I have shown you how to apply colors to alternate rows based on group to enhance the visual appearance of the tablex data region in the report designer. The link to the blog used in this tutorial is in the description below. If you found this video useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.